Welcome back to Spent Too Much Diecast. is going on crew welcome back to spent too much diecast for all you returning crew members out there if you're new here to the channel welcome to spent too much diecast Alrighty, so today we're going to be unboxing the newest wave of the fast and furious so this is mix four for the year and this is mix 18 overall. So we've seen this mix 18 times overall. And this is the fourth time seeing it this year. So this is mix four for 2023. We have another five car set. Um, we have the Acura, the Nissan, the Alfa Ramon, the Mustang, and of course the BMW. So, and then I did see that there is going to be another mix coming out which also looks amazing. So I guess we'll just go backwards and then we'll take a look at these and open them up. The artwork on these, of course, are really cool. They just didn't do like one plain background. They actually did like kind of where the vehicle was. So we have the Alfa Ramon. This one is from the new movie, Fast X, driven by Han. And so far, every single car basically that Han has driven is this orange and black so this is cool and is this even a newer cast you know this has been around for a while but that new fast x movie was pretty cool i don't know if anybody's got to see it yet it is an older movie out but it was cool can't wait for the second part all right number four we have the custom mustang um we have seen this in another premium set so they do like uh hot wheels does like to roll over some of their vehicles. So that's F9. And I'll get out the other ones so we can compare them um, when we do the unboxing. So number three, we have the BMW M3 E46 out of Fast 7. And what was this one? This one was like in the background. I don't think it was actually like driven by a person. All right, the number two, these last two are probably the most popular castings out of this set. We have the 1999 Nissan Maxima, part of the original crew. So I think we have all the crew cars now from the original Fast and Furious. So that is pretty cool. And then another popular casting out of this set is the custom Acura Sedan GSR. So she actually drove the sedan. This was driven by Mia in the original movie. I know Jada Toys did make one, but they made it a coupe. She actually did have a sedan. So that is pretty cool. So what we'll do is go ahead, get these all unboxed, and then take a closer look at it. Alrighty, guys, and we are back. All right, I just want to make a quick correction. I think I said it wrong in the beginning. This is the 2023 mix number three for fast and the furious 2023 mix three and if you count all the series overall it is the 18th mix overall so i think in the beginning i said it wrong but this is mix three from this year all right so let's go ahead and get this started because i know everybody wants to see these all right number one very popular casting. Everybody is grabbing this one off the shelves, basically leaving the other three behind minus the Maxima. But we have the custom Acura Integra Sedan GSR. And this one was found in the original, the Fast and the Furious, driven by Mia Toretto. And I think this is a new casting. It says copyright 2022. So I don't know if we've seen this in any other car. This might have been the first one. So it has the blue with, of course, the graphics that every person had on that beginning set. Number 11. And I think that was like part of their, every car was um, numbered differently. So we got full headlight deco. 
And of course, these are premium, so you got metal car, metal base, real riders. And then you got taillights, and then on the back you got Type R and HKS. So the only one this one doesn't have on it is some of them have that D, what was it, the DT or something, Dominic Toretto Car Club. But overall, I do like this casting. Can't wait to see this in more, some JDM sets and everything. So I'm pretty sure now after this one, I'm pretty sure we have the entire... Um, original crew so here it is the 1999 nissan maxima oh, i'm gonna forget who drove this not leon leon not jesse oh why can i never remember his name oh i had to pause it and look it up but vince vince drove the maxima oh, and this is a new casting too so here it is, number two. I'll have to go back. Maybe I'll do a, a quick photo shoot. Um, so check out our Facebook page. Um, maybe I'll get all the original ones together and see how they were they were numbered. So does that mean Dominic Toretto was number one? Toyo tires, full deco in the front, the graphics. Full taillight. There it is. Uh, so we have like the full set. And this one didn't have the DT on it either. I wonder if only his had it on there. But yeah, we'll definitely have to go back and check them out. But uh, this is another great casting. So out of this whole set, these two are the most popular. That people are just snagging them off the shelves and then leaving everything else behind. All right, so here we go. This is the BMW M3 E46 from Furious 7. Uh, not sure who drove this. I'll have to put it down below. But this one we have seen as a premium before. So here we go. We got the white with the teal wheels, which I really like. I think that the two cars or the two colors go good together. Front of... Uh, Full front deco, and then the license or the full back deco. And like I said, if it does look familiar, it's because it is a carryover. So we have seen it in another Fast and the Furious premium set, and they are identical. I looked them over before doing this. The only thing you got difference is basically the base and the base code. This base is a lot nicer than that base, but yep. So basically there is no difference besides the code. All right, then we have from F9. This was driven by Jacob Toretto. We have the custom Mustang. And this is when him and Dom were driving in the jungle or whatever. Dom was driving the Hellcat and Jacob was driving this one. So just a nice blue with the stripe, full headlight deco. Of course, the black wheels, full taillight deco. There's your base. And if it looks familiar, it's because it is. So they released this one a few sets ago, and then we get it again. And I did look them over. They are basically identical again. So Fast and the Furious, Hot Wheels, Premiums do like to roll over cars. So again, we have two rollovers. And I did see the next set coming out, and it's going to be another three-car rollover with only two new ones. All right, brand new one from Fast X. We have the Alfa Ramon Julia Sprint GTA, driven by... Han. All of Han's cars have been orange and black, but this one is pretty cool. This is an older casting. It says 2016. Don't remember the last time we actually saw this, though. It's usually a casting I do not collect, but because it is part of the Fast and the Furious, it will be added to the collection. 
So full front deco, the racing stripe going throughout. You have a stripe on the side, almost like the steely wheels, taillight deco. I got some deco around the window frames. So overall, pretty cool. It was a pretty cool card in the, in the movie. So there we are, guys. There is the unboxing. So we are now up to date. Like I said, there is another Fast and Furious set coming out. That will be later on. Once I get it, we will unbox it here. But thank you, crew, for sticking around and watching this video. If you guys haven't already, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew, hit the bell notification, give this video a like, all that good stuff. I appreciate everybody who watches it, and I'm looking forward to growing the channel with you guys. Thanks for watching. Hope everybody enjoyed it here at Spend Too Much Diecast, and we'll see you on the next unboxing. Bye.